one. I got I got featured on a magazine that sold like uh, like five hundred no no um twenty thousand copies, and wow. it's like I remember I, what what it was is I didn't want to get featured. I was a creative director on the magazine as well, so a lot of the pictures in the magazine were shot by me as well. And what's funny is a lot of guys in my team were featured in the magazine as well. So it was not just a success for me, it was a success for my entire team because we are all in the magazine. Hi and welcome to I See You on the Couch. We're here today with Zeke and Nicole. Hi, Mr and Mrs Akinua. Excellent. Good, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, they're both collectively extremely creative and they have lots to share about their successes and experiences individually and as a married couple. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're so excited because it's lovely to see beautiful young people in love. It's, yeah. it's, it's Thank nice. You. So, firstly, Nicole, let's start with you. What do you do? Um, I blog. So, I have a Christian blog which I do daily posts for all my readers. Um, I post encouragement, I tweet encouragement, so everything can be found on this one website. It's called The Manor Incentive. Um, really and truly, I just think my main aim is to spread God's word, so that's what I do. I also assist my husband on most of his shoots, so he'll be doing the photography and I'll be kind of working the set, however yeah. that works out. We're quite a good team, so yeah, he does the he takes pictures and I'm most of the time either doing the makeup on the model or looking after the model or running things from running the team and how they do stuff. So yeah. Nice. Just helping out really. Okay, and you Zeke, what do you do? Tell us a bit um, about yourself. I do uh I'm some into... bass drum voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your will be there. Oh man. I do, I do um I'm into fashion and filmmaking. Mm. Um the main thing that I do I think to be honest, I I find it difficult to say one because my career worked out through doing both. So I started off doing fashion design, but I got tired of um, photographers and the way they did things. Okay. Because I've just always noticed that I had an eye. So I it became a thing where I said, okay, why can't I just get my own camera? So I started shooting my designs by myself, and other brands started to see that and said, okay, you know what? We want you to start shooting videos for us and I be, became like a creative director for a lot of brands yeah. and you know just news travels so people start telling people yo okay you see they see the videos and they go who shot that and they say it's me before you know it I start with around shooting a lot of brands so after that by the time I started getting success from that I started getting approached by artists as well because they're like okay um, the whole process of um, shooting like an editorial or uh, advert for example like Marks and Spencer for example if mm -hmm. you see that or Top Man is it's it's very similar to shooting a music video like film is always it's kind of generic there's the bay foundation to it so I started to have artists um, contact me as well okay. to shoot music videos um, but I couldn't shoot a stereotypical video because I was very I'm very filmy so I would shoot it I'm, everybody has their own style so I'm, I would shoot it in my style and artists there to see that and I started to get contact from a lot of artists and after that now, um, it's just been a thing where more brands have like taken me on and said, okay, you know what, we need you to handle creative directing for us because apart from just shooting film, I'm very, I have a very arty eye. So I look at, and apart from shooting, just, you know, you could get anybody to shoot, shoot a brand, but because I'm into fashion design and I can tell how things are just meant to look, basically. Yeah, of course. So that's just how I grew and grew and grew in my career, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's lovely. So what would you say your big, biggest success has been so far? <laughs> I would say... Help them out. I would say... <laughs> it's so much, because I'm sitting there thinking like, whoo. There's so many. Um, there is I would, quite I would a lot. Say, I, would, I think so far... I like to look at things like that everything has a domino effect. Yeah. So there's always one piece. There's always one feature you get that catapults you like yeah, that. Yeah. So I think I think mine was when I got featured on Top Man. Nice. So mm. and I never even knew. To be honest, I remember the day and I was just I was like I didn't even know anything was happening and I'm just getting congratulations from people and mm. I'm like, what's this? You know, and I go online to find myself like um. They gave you. Yeah, for it, like for for most stylish man in London. Oh, hello. And it was like... They put I'm you from, with that guy from X Factor as yeah, well. Yeah, so there was pictures of, like, there was three of us as well. So there was some other guys. There was one international, one guy from America as well. Yeah, and I'm like, Italian Yo. guy in X yeah. Factor. And before then, I'd, I'd just been doing my creative directing. Normally, you know, it was never been a problem. So when that happened, 
Um, I just, you know, you, you know how life is. People that never want to talk to you before, mm. you know, those that never just be open, say, like, okay. guys. Yeah. You know, so, and from there, you know, it became a thing where the success sometimes, sometimes I, I found myself in rooms with people that I used to just see on TV and thought I would never meet this person. Yeah. And I've gone from that, you know, from not to not thinking I would ever meet these people to, because, for example, the other day, um, yesterday actually, I was at a premiere for my friend, um, R.M. Moses, he premiered four films, and I went there, and um, the amount of people that come, come came to me, like, oh my God, you're Ezekiel, and in a way, I find it difficult to get used to it, yeah, because sometimes, yeah. I remember once I went to event my wife, and someone came up to me, like, oh my God, you're Ezekiel, nice to finally meet you, I love your work, and my friend goes to my wife, and she goes, he goes what is it like being married to Ezekiel, and she goes, oh, I'm used to it, yeah. but obviously, <laughs> Obviously, my wife would never. My wife, I think, my wife and my mom would never see me like. Yeah, it was weird though. Yeah, when they came up to him, we were both like. Yeah, my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friend. So, for example, if somebody came to me and be like, "Oh, you're so successful," I'd be like, "Thank you." I won't be like, "No, nah, never," because really and truly, I worked hard for it. Yeah, yeah. Because I've had days that I've been that I've that I've been that I couldn't eat. I've been on shoots for weeks, like yeah. travel to places where I can't even get back home, jumping over barriers, you know. So for me to get successful from it, and I'll be like, no, nah, I was nothing. Now, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah I worked hard for this. So. No, of course. At the same time, it's just, a, you know, it's all about balance. So, yeah, yeah, finding that balance in between. Because there's been modest and there's... Yeah, there's been, yeah, people way. start to think, so are, you, are you being serious? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to insult yeah. people at the same time. Yeah. yeah, of course. So I know that you guys each other's rock I can tell like <laughs> so watching you guys and finishing each other's sentences and all that's cute no it's really nice it's, it's nice um let's talk about marriage I know you're in your first year of marriage does that mm -hmm. affect your careers or what you're doing does that ever get in the way or is it something uh, that um, motivates or helps the situation yeah, how does that mm, I would say it's a mixture because to be honest we've been together for a while so it's always I think the thing about it is when we got married for some reason, because you got married January 17th mm. on his birthday. So from when... I get when two presents. That was planned yeah, by me, trust me. I, I'm thinking. Uh, I was holiday. thinking. I'm, I'm, I was thinking years that. ahead. Yeah, He's so, calling yeah. himself though, because I still get two presents. My birthday is December. Okay. And it's January. <laughs> anyway, this is the ongoing argument. Yeah. But it's because from that day we got married, our lives kind of rocketed in the sense where his career kind of shot up. Mm. So we were trying to deal with our first year of marriage, with his success and people always talk about marriage and be like, oh my God, you know, the honeymoon period, this, yeah. that, and the other. Whereas, because we've been together for a while, our honeymoon period has always been, but the first year of marriage was something where it was like, okay, then cool. This is different. Like, yeah, it's not how, because we're together. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And yeah. marriage makes you learn about the person as if they're brand new. And you don't realise, I don't know if it's maybe the marriage, the ring, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's different. We're both different yeah. now. Mm. And I think that sometimes helped with it because mm. there's times where I think we needed to mature mm -hmm. in order because the stuff that he went through with the career, it's all good and it's all successful, but it comes with his downfalls, of man. Course, like yeah. the way people treat him and stuff. And I think maybe if he wasn't in the place that we were at in regards to our marriage and being together, if we was in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend thing, then maybe, I don't know, we would have viewed it in a more immature way yeah of course but now that we're married we're like yo this is this is gonna do you know what i mean set us for life so we have to look at it mature yeah we can't yeah. go and fight them yeah. and go and kick off because we're not like that anymore yeah. do you know yeah. what i'm saying so mm -hmm. i think it's helped us in a way in a good way mm -hmm. and it's also i think it's really shaped us in my line of work you have to be a disciplined man yeah oh yeah i was gonna say yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, I, people tend to sometimes people ask me yo ezekiel how do you do what you do when you're married yeah and mm -hmm. i think um the first can i just say for the past few how many weeks now he's been doing nude shoots every single week yeah i saw <laughs> every single yeah, week yeah, on yeah, instagram yeah, yeah. every new yeah. shoot every, every job is different and, and, wow and, 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 I, and I feel my only advice would be that just learn to love and learn to be loved and you can put your mind to anything when you have that when you have your mind at that kind of point in your life where mm -hmm. you can do whatever you can then that's it you can be successful definitely in anything you do okay thank you guys <laughs> i really really appreciate it i'm very 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 happy that you guys came down oh, thank you and remember you first saw it here inspiration <laughs> inspirational creators unite yes <laughs> <laughs>